Hi guys. Today we are going to talk about powers of 10. Do you remember a few lessons ago when I talked to you about the magical power of 10? This is completely different. This was the power of 10 and I was talking about 10 being like a magical number. But now we're talking about powers of 10. In the last video, I mentioned how this is, that we always say three to the fifth, but the whole name is this is three to the power of five. That's a five. This is uh, six to the power of three. This would be nine to the power of four. So today, all we're gonna talk about is powers of 10. 10 to the power of one, 10 to the power of two, 10 to the power of three, and so on and so on and so on and so on. You can say 10 to the power of 2,468. You would say 10 to the power of 2,468. Like, we don't really say it that way. We just say three to the fifth, 10 squared, nine to the fourth. But the long, long name is three to the power of five. So if you ever hear someone say that, three to the fifth and three to the power of five, they mean the exact same thing. Okay, I have to show you how to work with some numbers. 10 to the fifth is so easy to figure out. All you do is start with the one and add this many zeros. 10 to the fifth equals one. One, two, three, four, five. That's it, 10 to the fifth is 100,000. 10 to the eighth, one, and then I put eight zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's it. The, there's no, there's no scary trick to it. There's no, oh, it's got to be more difficult than that, Mrs. Givens. It's not, that, that's it. 10 to the fourth. You write a one and then one, two, three, four zeros. That's it. If I give you a test and I say, what is... 10 to the seventh, you shouldn't even really have to think about it. Just put a one and seven zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put your commas in there. That's it. Now, I have to teach you how to do multiples of that. What if I said, what? is two times 10 to the third. Two times 10 to the third. Well, first let's write it out. Two times 10 to the third. Okay, so let's do it out the long way. 10 to the third would be, here's my one, and then I put zero, 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 times two. Two times zero, zero, two times zero, zero, two times zero, zero, two times one, is two. Here's my answer. Now, let me show you an easier way to do it. 
10 to the 3. Look at this 2 and write it down. And we always know that every number has a decimal at the end, right? Now move it over three times. Now the decimal's here. This decimal's gone. Oops, messed up my two and put zeros in. That's it. I know that, that probably was a little confusing. Just bear with me, we're gonna do it again. What is four times 10 to the sixth? Let's write it all out. Four times 10 to the sixth. Take this number and put six zeros after it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, oh, sorry, my one, two, three, four, five. Sorry, my marker messed up. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's it, let's do another one. What is eight times 10 to the third. What is eight times 10 to the third? Eight times 10 to the third. All you do, because we know that 10 to the third is one with th three zeros, right? So this is a thousand. And we're gonna multiply a thousand by eight. So that I'll get, that'll give us 8,000. But you don't have to do all that. All you do is take this number and move the decimal over three times. Move the decimal over the number here. What is six times 10 to the fifth? What is six times, six times 10 to the fifth? All right, so that's six, one, two, three, four, five. Now, there's something that's really important because in the future, it's gonna get a little bit more difficult. Remember that every number, the number 12, there's actually a decimal right here. We don't write it. For the same reason that I say two plus x equals seven. We know, you know, there's an invisible one right here, but I don't have to write that one because it's, we just know that this two plus one x equals seven. For the same reason, when we write regular numbers, we don't put decimals. I could put a decimal here. I could put a decimal here. I could put a decimal here, I could put a decimal here, but we don't because we just, we know it's there and we don't write it. The number one has a decimal, it's 1.00, 2.00, 18.00. All numbers have a point and infinite zeros at the end. So what you're really doing when I say, what is nine times 10 to the sixth? What you're really doing 
First, we write it nine times 10 to the sixth. What you're really doing is you're writing nine point zero, two, three, four, five, six, and you're moving this decimal over. Two, three, four, five, six. That's what you're doing. Let me show you why you need to know that. Because what if I say, what is 2.3 times 10 to the fourth? This says 2.3 times 10 to the fourth. 2.3, move the decimal over four times. One, two, three, four. There you go, you see here? Here it says four, but we only have three zeros because what we did was we moved the decimal over. I'm gonna do just a couple more. What is, I don't know, 7.89 times 10 to the third. That would be 10 cubed. We wouldn't really say 10 to the third. We would say 10 cubed. So what is 7.89? 7.89 times 10 cubed. Here's the decimal. We move it over three times. 7.89, we move the decimal one, two, three times. And we add a zero in right there. So 7.89 times 10 cubed equals 7,890. Let's do one more and then we're finished. What is, mm, I don't know, 4.6, sure, 4.6 times 10 to the 15th. 15th. Write it out. 4.6 times 10 to the 15th. All right. We have to move this decimal 15 times. 4.6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Here's my decimal. Fill in zeros. There you go. So 4.6 times 10 to the 15th equals 46 with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Put my commas in. Okay, now, why does any of this matter? Why did you teach me 
any of this, Mrs. Givens. I taught you this because sometimes in math or science, we're talking about huge numbers. Like, let's say we're talking about the distance from here to Venus. That's a really long way. And instead of having, like, I, I don't really know how far it is from Venus. I'm making this number up. But instead of saying that it's um, two, instead of saying it's this many miles from Venus, which would be like, oh, uh, hundreds, thousands, millions, billions, trillions, Urgh, that's a huge number. Instead of saying that, we could just say that two times 10 to the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 10 to the 21 light years away. Doesn't it, if you were looking at a test, wouldn't you rather see this number than this number? And these are all zeros. What if they were all like nine point nine eight seven four three two? I mean, it's so much easier. I understand that for some of you, like literally right now, this is the first time you're ever seeing it. This might still be a little scary for you, but when you get more and more used to it, this will look so simple and easy compared to this. Just one more tiny little thing. You can also do these. So these are for really, really, really big numbers. If I were to put a negative here, it's for really, really, really small numbers. And I'm gonna show you that in the next lesson. Okay, you guys, enjoy.